Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video I will share my approach to understanding Webpack. And by understanding Webpack I mean how you can debug the entire bundling process. Because I think this is a great way one can use to really understand the tool. So we will see two examples of this. Uh, the first one will be um, to debug Webpack on a custom examples of ours. Uh, this can be used. Um, this can be used when you want to debug a certain example or a certain features of Webpack in isolation, or maybe you want to isolate a bug and you want to understand what's going on. This can be uh, used uh, for such uh, scenarios. But it, the other approach is to uh, debug Webpack tests, um, and uh, I also think that this is a great way to dive really deeper into uh, the webpack source code so now that we have uh, said that let me have a sip of coffee ah, that's very good and now um, let's just move forward so i have added here all the instructions that you need we'll quickly go over it over them and then we'll see um, debugging webpack in action so first of all, you will have to clone the repo, of course. Then after running these commands, you will uh, essentially add the webpack submodule in the node modules folder of this root project. And this is essential because by doing that, we will be able to call webpack from npm scripts. And the debugging essentially happens because we add, we attach a debugger to an npm script. And we will see that in a moment. Uh, so here you have the webpack submodule and uh, by submodule I mean uh, that we have essentially included the webpack repository in this understanding webpack repo of mine and uh, by running these commands all of these commands we will add webpack to node modules as you can see right here this little arrow here indicates that uh, it is a symbolic link. So by doing that, we can invoke Webpack from npm scripts. And this is the explorer script that uh, we, we will see uh, in a moment what it does. So here we have a way to um, create some new examples, starting from the archetype uh, folder, which contains some basic Webpack configuration and a basic index.js file. So by doing that, you have added your interesting example here, your new example. And the last step you have to do is to modify the explore script such that it contains, so that uh, such that it points to your example, to the configuration file of your example. And that's all you have to do to debug um, a custom example. Now let's see that in action. So here we have uh, the explore script. I couldn't find a better name. And now let's see uh, the gist of this video, finally. Um, but first, let me show you the launch JSON file, which contains the configuration, the debugging configurations. So this one, the first, one, the first configuration, will be used to debug Webpack based on an example of ours. So as you can see, uh, these lines, by using these lines, a debugger will be attached to this npm script, which will run uh, Webpack on our custom example. So let's see that in action. Um, I will save you some time and uh, I will add a breakpoint right here. Um, the way I know that uh, this line will be reached is um, because I have essentially started um, I have um, started from the entry point uh, of running a command, which is somewhere around webpack lib or webpack bin, webpack .js. So this this file will be invoked whenever you call webpack from an npm script. And what I did essentially was to add a breakpoint anywhere here uh, at the beginning of this of this file. And then by uh, using the debugger, I went step by step until 
at some point during the bonding process, this line has been reached. So we can apply the same, uh, the same approach here if you want to debug further. So make sure that we have selected the uh, um, proper WPA configuration, the proper debugging configuration, sorry. And now uh, at some point it should stop here. So this is the um, debugging, uh, the bonding process in action. Now this entire uh, Webpack program uh, has been invoked based on this based on this example of ours. And now if you have the time and mainly the patience, you can um, go through it and understand what's really going on. And there's also another Webpack uh, another debugging configuration which will debug as the name says it will debug the webpacks test this can be used if you want to dive deeper into the webpack source code and it can also be a great way to learn so i will save you some time again and uh, i will place I, will, I have already placed a breakpoint at some point where i know it will stop so let's uh uh, run this uh, debugging process um, again. Um, debugging Webpack test is a bit trickier than usual because Webpack does a very smart thing in the sense that it declares um, tests sort of dynamically. So as you can see from here, uh, it has uh, got the cases path and at some point down here below it uh, it uh, generates uh, or rather it declares test cases dynamically so it will be um, a bit of a hassle to actually see what's going on here but at some point things will make sense I can tell you that because I've tried this so it works at, in the end and um, I guess that will be it for this video so we've seen how we can debug Webpack locally. We can uh, debug a certain a custom examples of ours, as well as we can debug the entire Webpack tests. And by the way, if you want to uh, try uh, other type of tests that Webpack has, as you can see, uh, there are some scripts that um, do just that. So feel free to explore and uh, I wish you a, a happy learning journey on Wayback and I'll see you in the next one.